Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. And guys, it's happened. We have the legendary split map blizzard through Gascony, Andalusia, Rabat. Our spawn is actually really bad. Now, blue is going to be attacking into yellow, so that is uh, beneficial for us. I cap here, Finland. I take Scandinavia and use the extra troops to go for Russia. Now, does yellow attack blue here? But blue goes before me anyway. There's a five right there. If blue got a good roll, they're completely fine right now. And yellow could potentially try to snowball this. Now, we didn't see anyone go for any of these blizzards here. We know two capitals right away. We know some people. We know at least one or two people are going for this corner, right? So two people are probably here. Two are here. So we should be getting left alone right now from where we're at, right? Going for like the upper right-hand corner, which is not strategically important. What's also nice is because no one has a capital here and here, people can attack around. Yes, and blue just gave up right away. So yellow has a very strong start. They are um, getting nine per turn right now. We're going to try to take over Scandinavia for ourselves right now. We got bad dice. But the point is, we're still alive. As long as purple does not hit us, we should be okay. And we're going to have to look to try to take Russia for ourselves now. And really try to expand very aggressively. Again, with split maps like this, this is very dangerous. Pink is going for the center. But this does imply that purple most likely doesn't have anything. Unless purple happened to be the very lucky player with Greece. So yellow has two capitals right now because uh, they did that very risky roll that paid out for them. Looks like they did 2 or 3v1 here that failed. They're kind of wasting their troops right now attacking. So green is getting 10. Green holds North Africa at the moment. I wonder if someone has to be capped on Greece or something, right? So green is trying to take over this whole bottom side and then look to put a single stack down on Gascony. So green is going to be very dangerous soon. Yeah, so we're getting cleared out of here. No, green leaves us here. That can actually be a pretty smart move and... Oh, Purple gets 14. Are you kidding me? Purple can easily take our cap if they wanted to. Well, all we can do is take one card and pass. Like, uh, purple probably is Eastern Europe. We have to um, be a little bit more cautious because purple was thinking about rolling us. We attacked into Russia aggressively. Purple most likely takes our capital away. So it's much better to just keep our capital strong for ourselves. Like you can see our KD right now is a little negative. It's been a little bit slow start for us. So yellow should now be uh, taking over London like we see right here. Okay. Yellow is a strong spot. Again, they're everything off capital. So again, they're a bit of a weaker player. Why is, is someone else back here that's like hitting and stopping green? Like is someone capped on like Bul Bul Bulgaria or something like that? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Purple does not have that bonus. Interesting. I mean... Like, yeah, purple, I am taking that over. I'm knocking purple completely out. So maybe... I'm just lost. I'm just lost right now. Like, pink right now is getting 10. How does... Does purple have a capital for themselves right now as well? And No, no. Yellow trades in early. So again, like, yellow's super strong. But again, my capital's off in the corner. Yellow should not know about that. What an interesting game. This is crazy. Like these like these blizzards just cap splitting the map in half again. This is crazy. 
The purple's still getting 13, whatever they're doing. So they're attacking green. So because we cleared them out from before, this has allowed us to take over Russia. Okay, okay, so this is good. So now... We're going to take our extra troops here. We're just going to look to clear out yellow a little bit. And go back. We held our bonus. If we get invaded, we get invaded, right? But we got to put our troops down to make sure on our capital to keep it alive and safe. Because we used it to attack from before. So if we get attacked, we get attacked, right? Yeah, so pink just takes another bonus for themselves. Which is completely fine. If they break us from Stockholm, we still see it. They don't know if we're capped on Stockholm or not. And they're going to be opening up the capital. So they're going back for safety for themselves. So it looks like my read was wrong. So green's just getting four. So purple took the capital away. So purple is very strong. They are a menace right now. The so purple is the one going to be trying to take over the bottom half of the board. They were fighting with green the whole time. They must have attacked green very aggressively. And then purple should have been something like 20-ish troops a turn right now. Yeah, 16. So they're only down here and attacking, but they can easily re-fortify their position if they're like in Benghazi or Greece. I think my play here is I want to avoid doing anything that draws attention to myself. I wait for green purple to finish taking over this bottom part of the board. Yellow will then be next to this. So purple probably focuses on yellow. And, ye and then one of the guys smacks each other. And then we get active from there. Uh, until that point, we, I'm just going to focus on avoiding drawing attention to myself. And I just keep everything on capital. I think if it hits me, they hit me, right? It's, it's not the uh, biggest deal in the world. So yellow now has France. So yellow and purple are going to be going at this a lot. So then like pink's just only getting one bonus, right? So I think then my focus could shift towards pink then because pink is nowhere in this calculation, right? Yellow's attacking purple. Purple's going to attack yellow. So if I only end up focusing on pink, I think we're okay here. And green's just going back right here to uh, hide themselves, which I'm fine with. Okay. Wow, this is such an interesting game right now. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Now, green going for Russia is really stupid. I don't want to be hitting them because they're not long for this game. But this is why I put all of our troops on capital, right? We made sure that we're going to be okay. Nice. And purple just hits all of that. Now, purple I'm fine with hitting, because I want to be keeping them away from me. Ah, that's purple's capital. And that's yellow. That's pink right there. Okay. So pink is up here. They held two bonuses from before. So we're not holding that. That's just basically to knock people out of our way. So we already know pink's going to be hitting us. We're completely fine with this. Yeah, because we were holding way too much stuff from before. And now they see our capital. So that means... If I'm uh, reading this right, uh, oh yeah, this is bad. This is bad. So purple, no one's capped on battle right now. Besides, is that so? If, if you, is y'all about to snowball this game? And actually, because if y'all takes over the whole bottom, they just win. Like right away, they just win. 
Wow, Yellow had such a bad capital, but do they just have a whole opportunity to, to own all these bonuses? And at the same time, though, am I really worried about that? I don't know if I care, because Yellow is proven to be a bit of a weaker player from before. My capital is super strong, is nowhere near close to dying. Yellow would go into pink next. They're going to have some trouble. Now, now, since pink is still attacking me, do I need to hit them then? Because it looks like purple is going into yellow already. How is purple still getting 13? Purple must have uh, Reese. Like, again, like I'm still missing some pieces right now. So yellow is going into purple. So based off of this, we're going to go into pink. We're absolutely hitting... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's a capital. Frick you, perp. Yellow. So now pink is just getting three per turn. And they trade in. Sure. But they just kept hitting us, right? We just leave four down there to make it annoying for them. We don't expect to hold. Oh, my gosh. But pink is putting every single one of their troops, and now they're going into the freaking honey pot down here. What? So even though I just attacked them so aggressively, I'm not getting punished for it. So yellow's still getting 12, but yellow's actually having the set now. And they are going to be going mad aggressive in the bottom too. Everyone's going for the bottom. But guys, I'm owning the top right. Like, what? What is this? Like everyone's just fighting like crazy right now. But pink is yeah, purple still getting 13, so whatever war is going on, like nothing's happening. And now purple is just trading in. Like what? So everyone's just fighting down there right now. Everybody is fighting. And purple has to break us, otherwise we can take that capital away. And yellow is just flagged. Yellow has flagged. Because assuming that yellow is just flagged, and purple is now attacking ultra aggressively, we might now have to attack uh, ultra aggressively. Yeah, I, I think. Purple is now taking over that whole side of the board. So we're getting 31. So we actually are going to have to um, trade in. I'm thinking pink is also weak here. Okay, so that's yellow. Oh, there's pink right there. Okay. Pink is there. So pink should be going into purple. We leave that stack there. For the simple reason of... We want to make sure pink is only focused on this side, right? So that's pink's last stack. And now they're just attacking into purple super hard right now. What is going on? Like, what? Like, 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 purple is forced to be dealing with pink. And their 31 can't do anything because I'm blocking them. Like, I, it's just doing a block. What is this game? What is this game? Five. Wow. Pink is, owns all that. They own all of that. And uh, purple can't do anything about it. I'm literally playing uh, defense on them. Holding that off. Like, what? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We just get 42 a turn. How much do we need to break this? We need 21 to break. Play some here, then some like this. Should be able to break this, right? We just kill. Yeah, and then we just take down this and toll capital like this. And then we take this stack and move it down like this. And now purple cannot kill pink. Pink has no capital left. Pink has no capital left. We have every capital on this board except purples. And if purple does not have a set on three, we can just kill them and take it. We have a guaranteed set coming up right now. And purple can't cap on us. And they can't kill pink. Because we have a 26 that's playing, like, the defense. 
Like, what is going on? But purple doesn't have the set, but again, we don't care. We don't care, right? We have a 26 guarding. And we have a 43 up top here. So even if they, they can't capra on us, they can hit that, but they can't win. So they just go good game. We just, uh, we just take all... That's game, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. Wow. Good game and well played. Oh my god. This is all of XC signing off.